UCLA returns to the Rose Bowl to take on Arizona State with beat reporter Chris Foster and our National College Football columnist Chris Dufresne. I'm Lindsay Theory with the Los Angeles Times. Chris, a 4-0 start for the Bruins. They take on Arizona State today. What do you expect? Well, this is a, a game to watch because UCLA has had a history over the years of dumping these games. They get in a situation where they're playing a team they should beat, they're better than, they think they can beat them, and then they just don't show up. So it'll be interesting to see how the Bruins handle this one today. Chris, you have a pulse on the college football scene nationally as well as in the Pac-12. Where do you think UCLA stacks up? Well, I think they're definitely a, a top 10 team if you see what's happening around the country. I mean, I'm not sure who number one is. I ranked UCLA number two this week behind Utah just because, I mean, I'm not sure who's good. Um, and they had, I think, one of the most impressive wins of last weekend. Uh, again, as Chris said, this is their moment. They're not good when their moment comes. And uh, this will be another test against a team that's down. It's, uh, it's, it's underperformed in Arizona State. Um, and, and we'll be out looking to, you know, to do some damage on the Bruins today. You guys, way to put it lightly, they're not good when the moment comes. Chris, <laughs> do you think Josh Rosen's going to be good in the moment today? Well, th this kid keeps getting better and better. I mean, uh, you know, he had that freshman moment against um, BYU in the first half. It didn't look good through the three interceptions. And he came back last week and made a lot of smart decisions, made a lot of good passes. And him and Jordan Payton, uh, his favorite receiver, have developed a relationship that seems to be working on the field. A good game for UCLA last week against Arizona, except for their rushing defense. You think the Bruins have shored that up? Well, I think after the game, Jim Moore made it very clear that they were going to work at shoring it up. Whether they can, I don't know. Jayon Brown is not going to play today, I'm hearing. That, he was the linebacker that replaced Miles Jack, who's out for the season. They're also without Eddie Vanderdose, a defensive tackle, and one of their best defensive players. So they're, they're vulnerable against the run. So we'll see what they've come up with to kind of cover those holes. So it's the 4-0 Bruins against the 2-2 two two Sun Devils. Be sure to keep it on the Los Angeles Times throughout the game and for post-game coverage. With Chris Dufresne and Chris Foster, I'm Lindsay Theory.